Gonna do a video on the Anderson No Sway No Bounce Weight Distribution Hitch. I'm not gonna show you how to install it because there's a lot of videos on that, but I haven't seen too many videos that talk about how it actually works after the fact. So what I got going on here is a 17 foot travel trailer. Um, when it's fully loaded, it's about 34, 3,500 pounds. Um, measure the tongue weight at about 380 pounds when everything is loaded in the front, including a full fresh water tank. So it's a pretty good amount of distribution. Should be a little bit heavier in the front. It's a little bit more than 10%. And I'm towing it with a 2021 uh, 4Runner TRD Off-Road Premium. And uh, the 4Runner pulls it just fine. Gets up the speed without any issues. But the trouble I'm having is the uh, camper is uh, more than half the weight of the 4Runner. So any little uh, dip in the road or you know inconsistency in the road the trailer tends to bounce a little bit and that just shakes up the forerunner so it is swaying a bit in the wind but even more so than that i'm getting a lot of herky jerkiness when i'm towing just any undulation in the road pushes my forerunner around quite a bit um, i measured the squat it squats down about an inch and a quarter when it's hooked up to the trailer which isn't terrible but i think ideally it should be an inch or less in most cases especially with a softer suspension like the forerunner has so i'm going to hook this all up i'm not going to show you how i'm doing it because you could see that online elsewhere but i will uh confirm after it's all connected and i do a test drive if it tows better all right well, here we go everything was installed fine it took me a little bit longer than it probably would take other people but uh that's just my nature i suppose everything was fine the only issue i had was um this set screw I think this bracket was returned once before because it wasn't threaded correctly for this screw. It looks like maybe somebody cross-threaded it in the past and they sent it back. Who knows what. But um, I was able to make it work. Um, everything was pretty smooth. The high quality parts on all the other components of it. Even the instruction manual was like really well made. But just going to go zoom in out here so you can see. The most important thing is how level my forerunner is. Um, like I said before, I had at least an inch and a quarter sag in the back. Depending on the weight, it could be it could have been more than that, but it's about as level a thing as it's going to get. If anything, the front of the trailer could even be dropped down a peg. Each peg on the hitch is an inch, so that might be a bit too much. I don't know. If I feel like it, I might play around with it, but the important thing is I just drove a good 15 miles, and uh, this thing was as smooth as can be on the highway. Um, none of that push and pull. Uh, no sway it wasn't exhausting at all like you know before trying to drive this thing fast uh it just wore me out it's giving me a headache and, and just didn't feel uh safe in any way um and i would say this is a success the only kind of uh push and pull that i'm feeling at all now is on some slow country roads where there's some bumps and potholes and stuff that's just to be expected but once i got out and got 70 miles per hour cars and trucks come in the opposite direction it uh it felt 100% uh, smoother than it did before. So I'd call this a success. The thing was darn expensive, over 600 bucks when it came to tax and all that, but I think it's worth it. I feel uh, much more comfortable taking this on a long distance road trip now. So all in all, success, I give it a thumbs up. One final thought, backing up with the no sway control of this Anderson hitch, was surprisingly good um, I know other sway bars and stuff like that you got to kind of either loosen them or detach them to make pretty sharp turns but I come down my driveway here I pull forward a bit and then I got a nice big arc and then almost the right angle to get it into the carport and it didn't uh, give me any fight or anything it uh, backed up pretty smooth which was uh, amazing that it could back up and jackknife so easily while at the same time uh, preventing sway going down the highway. So another thumbs up.